So, you think using oils on your face is not a good idea. You use them before and without much success, so you rather not do it again. Well, the truth is, you can be really successful using plant oils on your face if you do it correctly. So let me dive into the seven most common mistakes when using plant oils on your face. Mistake number one, using oils on dry skin. So you probably know it, you took your jojoba oil, you put it on your skin and then it just sits there. You look shiny, you look greasy, you cannot get out of the house like this. What do you do? You put lots of makeup, it still shows. Well, you made a mistake. You put the oil on dry face. If you put the oil on wet face, you're never gonna experience the lack of absorption and the greasiness that uh, comes of, with using the plant oils on your dry face. So always put oils on wet skin. Mistake number two, using far too much of an oil. Well, oils are the concentration versions of your face creams. So I know we used to putting loads of face cream on our face and therefore we think we should do the same with plant oils. Big mistake. You shouldn't put more than three drops of a plant oil on your face, on your wet face as we said before and uh, really the magic number is between one to two oils. One to two drops of oil. I wanted to say, Jesus. <laughs> Mistake number three, using the wrong oils on your skin. Well, a lot of people say, I have put coconut oil on my face and just didn't work. I got loads of breakouts and I was shiny all the time. Well, it's because you put the wrong oil on your face. Coconut oil is known for being really heavy, for causing lots of breakouts. So if, unless you have really, really dry skin, I would never recommend putting coconut oil on your face. Uh, other examples of really heavy oils would be avocado oil or macadamia oil. But if you have a normal to combination skin type, for example, you probably want to go for the lighter, faster absorbing oils like the watermelon seed oil or the raspberry seed oil or the hemp seed oil. There will be a separate video on which oils are the most appropriate for which skin types. So subscribe to this channel to be sure not to miss it. Mistake number four, not hydrating your skin enough before using the plant oils. It's a very common misconception that the oils are going to hydrate your skin. No, the oils don't hydrate your skin. The oils keep the moisture locked in your skin. But if you didn't have enough moisture in your skin to start with, then using oils, it is going to have very little effect on your skin hydration. So what you need to do before you use an oil is to use a so-called humectant. Uh, there are loads of options when it comes to natural humectants. The um, humectant of the choice uh, that I use is the vegetable glycerine uh, because it's very easy to obtain uh, you don't need uh, a complicated process, it's safe for the skin, it's safe for the environment, and it's already naturally occurring in your skin. So if you use a humectant like the vegetable glycerin before the oil, it's going to bind the water molecules from the surface of your skin deep into your skin, and then the oils can retain that moisture within your skin. Mistake number five, and that is a really dangerous mistake, using rancid oils. What does it mean rancid oils? Basically oils that are spoiled, that have been uh, 
exposed to sunlight and air that smell bad um, and they are past their due date. Never, ever, ever, ever use these oils on your skin. When oils oxidate, they release, release a chemical which is very damaging for the skin. So if you see a bottle of oil passes you date, don't be tempted, just don't do it. Mistake number six, sticking to one plant oil. I know it's super easy and super tempting if you just take jojoba oil or you just take watermelon seed oil and you just put that single oil on your face um, because it's super easy, right? You can go to the supermarket and they dead, they on the shelf. The thing with that is, well, would you really eat one vegetable for the rest of your life? I mean, it's the same with feeding your skin. You don't want to just provide the skin with the same um, sort of vitamins, minerals and antioxidants all the time because it's not going to be the full spectrum that your skin needs. So um, always remember to try to mix different oils based on um, the vitamins and the mineral profile that they have, or uh, if not that, then at least alternate the oils um, every month or so. The last mistake, mistake number seven, is using the same oils in the morning and in the evening. Well, it's technically not a mistake. You can do it, but the question is, why would you do it if you can really um, try to alternate and use the oils during the night, which are maybe not so fast absorbing and would not make an ideal makeup base, um, but are very rich in minerals, in vitamins, in antioxidants, and therefore would provide your skin with amazing restoration during the night. So basically, as I said, it's not a technical mistake, but let's capitalize on all the oils that we cannot use during the day, but we can successfully use them in the evening. So I hope this was useful to you. If you have any other questions or would like any other sorts of tips, just leave the comment below. Thanks again for watching the video. Uh, I hope you're going to have much success using the plant oils and see you next time.